Hello my fellow skater boys and girls and I'm back with another video and today I'll be blessing you guys with my favorite winter skateboarding life hacks. As it literally rains for 40% of the year where I live, I think I have quite the knowledge when it comes down to skating in rainy or cold weather. So sit back and enjoy and show some love by destroying that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really does help me out. Number one. Trash bags. Trash bags are possibly the most underrated thing when it comes down to carrying skateboard gear. Not only is it completely waterproof so that when you're walking in rain or snow, your board doesn't get soaked, but they're also big enough for you to fit just about anything you want in there. They can also have multiple uses and can work as a waterproof like shirt thing. Um, I don't know. I, I've seen this. I, I don't know. I've seen a lot of people do this. It looks like this. It's weird. A sail to help you move faster on your skateboard. And also a weapon that you can use to strangle anything that tries to cross you. Also, trash bags are just like really cheap. And I guarantee if you're watching this video right now, you have a trash bag in your house or just nearby you that you can use. Like everybody has a trash bag. Why aren't more people doing this? It's just, it, it's great. It's, it's a great tool. Anyway, on to the next one. Number two, layers. What you, wear is the, what you wear is the most important thing when it comes down to skating during winter. So that's why it's always essential to wear layers. Make sure to layer up your homies like onions before you go out. Now, I'm not your mom, and I'm sure if you live in a cold environment, you already know all about wearing layers. So I'm not going to spend too much time on this one, but I'm going to just cover it real quickly. Generally, try to wear light but warm clothes that don't restrict your movement too much. Like some really good combinations are thermal pants just in general with anything, but especially with sweatpants or like a thermal t-shirt with a long sleeve or maybe a jacket. Gloves or mittens are great and you have to have those if you're going out in the cold. And also a beanie will save your ears from getting frozen off. Now, if any of you want some really cool looking warm beanies, check out the beanies that I made myself at scared.shop. Everything on there is on sale right now, including the beanies and everything else, because I'm coming off a new line of clothes. So get your merch while you can, because it's going to be gone soon. Click the link in the description or the thing on the right top right of the screen right now. Check it out. The one thing you have to consider is that while you may be warm when you step outside in your outfit, once you actually start skating, you will warm up a lot more and you will want to take clothes off, such as your jacket. This is why layers will actually save you and it will and it'll help your body from getting too hot or too cold. Number 3. Bring towels. Skating during winter is a lot like using protection. It's really bad news if you're going to get wet. So that's why whenever I'm skating in wet conditions, I always bring a towel to keep things clean. It's just good for everybody. And you are bound to eventually get your board wet or step in a wet spot and have your shoes be wet. So if you have a towel, you don't have to worry about waterlogging your board, having rusty bearings, having your bushing squeak, or having your grip tip not be grip anymore. So anyway, always just bring a towel with you. You can throw it in your trash bag and it'll fit just well in there and it'll keep everything nice and tidy. And if you step in the puddle, you won't have to stomp around like a mad caveman trying to get your shoes dry. Just try it out once and you won't regret it. Number four, go to an indoor park. Now this one's pretty obvious. I'm sure if you guys are watching this video, this one doesn't really apply to you because you, you probably are watching this because you don't have an indoor park. But in case you are, uh, go check out your indoor park. Just go Google skate parks near you and you'll probably see an indoor park nearby. And then you can just pretty much skate all winter. You don't have to worry about bundling up. You don't have to worry about getting your board wet. It's perfectly dry. It's inside. It's a lot safer too. So uh, just go ahead and do that. Um, but I'm not going to spend too much time on this one. I'm actually done right now. Going to the next one. Number five, go to parking lots, your garage, abandoned buildings, under bridges, basically anywhere that has been undercover. Let's say it's snowing you really hard this year or it's been raining all month and everything outside is wet. Well then your go-to place should be your garage because it's literally inside your house and you can go skate there anytime you want. But I know some of you don't have garages or just get bored of practicing flat ground tricks so I got you, don't worry. The only option you really have aside from that is to go explore a little bit and go to a parking garage, under a bridge, or even into an abandoned building. It is illegal to trespass on abandoned buildings, so do this at your own risk. I'm not condoning it, but I'm just saying it's something that you could do. Basically, any place that has cover is now your playground, and all you have to do is just get creative and use what you have. Say you have a place that's under a bridge, and it doesn't see too many people or too many cars. Well, then you could just build your own skate park there. It actually happened here in Seattle, and I think they're starting to get approved now, finally. Or if you find a abandoned house, you could get some plywood and some wood screws and make some ramps or even some wall ride sections inside there. Parking lots are great too, not only because they're just huge flat ground spaces, but depending on where you are, the parking blocks were great for board slides and slappies. 
once again it's really just up to you to get as creative as you want you might have to build your own ramps you might have to build your own ledges rails whatever but in the end if you really really want to and you set your mind to it you can accomplish it so just go out there use what you have and have some fun number six use a floor squeegee to clean up ramps now this is a bit of a weird one but if you're really determined to hit the skate park when it's snowed or it's just been raining a lot and you have like metal ramps or like want to hit like a mini ramp all you really need is a simple floor squeegee now you can start off by cleaning ramps with shovels like when it snows and hit the ramps with a floor squeegee and get the rest of the water off so you aren't slippery this works best on metal ramps as those tend to get the most slippery when they're wet and i keep saying slippery but as long as you use a floor squeegee on like a smooth hard surface such as a metal ramp or just really like a smooth concrete it'll do the same thing as it does on glass and it'll just get all the water right off it and it works great as as long as it doesn't rain again and doesn't like ruin your whole thing that you have going but yeah it's definitely worth a shot if you really want to go the extra mile you could even bring an old towel and dry off the spots that the squeegee you can't get number seven do not stop moving once you stop moving and sit down you'll instantly feel how cold it is maybe not instantly but within a few minutes you're gonna start feeling a little bit cold you're gonna be oh it's a little bit cold but if you don't want to feel cold it's important to keep moving even when you're resting by moving around you keep your blood flowing and it'll just cause more science stuff to go down and it'll make you feel warmer so yeah basically once you just start moving don't stop because you're gonna be cold oh, pretty obvious I don't, I don't even know why i put this here number eight drink something warm nothing will warm you up better than a hot liquid scorching your tongue and throat that's why regardless of what it is coffee hot chocolate or tea make sure to bring it with you when you're going skating trust me it'll make you feel a whole lot better and a whole lot warmer also just having some water with you is a really good idea because while you may think that it's not really possible to get dehydrated while you're out there you'd be surprised a lot of skiers and snowboarders get dehydrated when they go out and snowboard and it's same thing can happen to you if you're skateboarding so just always bring water with you stay hydrated my friends number nine make a rainboard are you tired about caring about your skate gear and just want to ride regardless of the weather well then you should make a rainboard you can really use any deck you want, but if you're on a budget, just use one of your old decks and spray a deck and grip tape with some waterproof spray. Make sure to use old trucks and bushings that you don't care about because those things are going to get destroyed. And also for the bearings, just go for the cheapest ones you can find because they will be the first to go. Now keep in mind, you will break stuff on this board way more often than any other board, so it's going to be important for you to find replacement parts. And a good place to find them is on Craigslist. You can find tons of free or just cheap stuff by looking around on Craigslist. It's not always going to be on there, but if you just constantly check like every week or every few days or so, you're bound to eventually hit the jackpot. A rainboard is also not going to be the best board you'll ever ride, but it'll definitely do the job and help you survive winter. Number 10. Do skateboarding activities inside your house. Sometimes you just can't skate, or maybe you don't have a spare board that you can use. Or maybe you just live in the middle of nowhere where all you have is endless fields and just feet of snow. But if that skating bug is still itching, don't worry, I got you. There are plenty of skateboarding related things you can do inside your own house. You can start off by practicing tricks on your carpet or just in your living room. But I'm sure if anyone else lives with you, or you live in an apartment, you will annoy them to the point of them wanting to snap your board. So what you could try to do instead is just remove your trucks and try out some carpet boarding. This isn't exactly completely quiet, but it's a whole lot better. And it'll feel a little bit different, and I think it's a little bit harder, but you can still do the same tricks you can do on a normal skateboard, and it'll keep your skills fresh all winter. You could also work on your balance by filling a bottle full of water and trying out some balance boarding. It's pretty challenging, but it's actually a lot of fun, and it'll also improve the control you have over your board when you're riding normally, especially when you're doing manuals. For a last resort, you could simply just play skateboarding video games such as Skate 3 or watch skate videos. Now I could tell you to just watch all of my videos, which you should obviously do if you haven't yet. But here are some really good and classic skateboarding movies you should definitely watch. Mid 90s, Grind, Lords of Dogtown, Street Dreams, and all the illegal Civ tapes. Anyway, if you made this far into the video, good job, but do not leave yet. I see you trying to leave. Don't leave yet. I have a little clothing hack that will make your hands thank you. Before I say what it is, I gotta tell you to leave a comment of what you do to keep your skills during winter and also to subscribe. Because it is a proven fact that when people subscribe to my channel, they can land whatever trick they're trying to land in one day. No cap. A little bit of cap. 
Anyway, for the last and final tip, when you have gloves on, put those hand warmers inside the gloves or even better put them inside mittens and just keep your hands and the fingers warm no matter how cold it is. I'll put a screenshot of what they look like but you can pretty much find these at gas stations, Walmart, literally any store during winter. And as long as you have them on you, you will not go cold. You can also put them onto your ears or your nose or your toes, whatever just gets cold, put them on there. Anyway, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching.